Hi, I'm Rie. I'm a tasty producer. Today, as always, I've been challenged to take a common food and make it fancy. Let's see what we are making fancy today. Drum rolls. Eggs. As you can guess, I've never tried this before. But I know about eggs because I watch Stranger Things. The waffle is also popular in Japan. So I can probably guess what kind of flavor it will be. My favorite kind of waffle is crunchy outside and it's a little bit fluffy and chewy inside. Ego seems like very thin. My concern is ego will be a little bit drier side. Look cute. It look like a pancake from cartoon. It's hard. <laughs> it's very crispy. It's a little dry, but syrup definitely helps. I like the design of it. It's cute. It's round, my favorite shape. So it's very thin. I like my waffle a little bit fluffier. This is almost eating a cookie. Back of the box have some suggestions like breakfast sandwich. I think we should make it more fancy. I've got some great ideas. So as always, I'm excited to make it fancy. All right, here's what I got. Bananas, heavy cream, butter, and eggs. From the pantry, I got milk, vanilla extract, cream of tartar, sea salt, powdered sugar, sugar, cornstarch, bourbon, and brandy, double alcohol. All right, let's get started. Make it fancy. So first, separating four eggs. I've seen you crack a lot of eggs. I don't think I've ever seen you Oh, maybe today is the day. Always crack the egg on a flat surface. One of my pastry chef taught me how to crack like cup against each other. This way you don't make a mess on the surface like I did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use egg whites later and now I'm just going to use egg yolks, three fourths cup sugar, one third cup of cornstarch and four cups of milk. Turn on the heat to medium high. You have to keep whisk it until it bubbles. About 10 minutes, you don't want any lumps. Okay, so it looks great. Reduce the heat to low and whisk another minute or so. It's got much thicker. Quarter teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of vanilla. Two tablespoons of butter. Whisk it until butter is completely melt. Ray, can you guess what the original name of Eggos was? I assume something with waffle. Waffles. Oh, okay. Frozen waffles. Well, oh, ruffled. It's kind of cute. Can be a cute dog name. <laughs> <laughs> Butter is completely melted. Transfer to glass bowl. You want to strain this because you want to have a smooth pudding. Put plastic, kind of touching the surface so it doesn't form any skin on the surface. This is a little hot right now, so you want to make it room temperature and then keep it in the fridge. And we are moving on to next step. One cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, and you just start once. Just make sure everything is kind of wet. Turn on the heat to high medium. Once you start cooking, don't touch it because it's gonna crystallize. So you just want to heat until this sugar turns like a copper color. So the caramel looking good, nice color, and you wanna turn off the heat and add half cup of cream. Do this off the heat because once you add the cream, it bubbles up and you're gonna whisk quarter cup of butter. When you are making caramel at home, be careful because it's really hot. To finish this step, I'm adding one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, two tablespoons of bourbon. I personally don't drink whiskey or bourbon, but this makes very nice bourbon caramel. So that was first of our two alcohols. Check. Bourbon caramel is ready. Set this aside and let's move on. One cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of powdered sugar. When you are whipping cream with sugar, powdered sugar works better because it melts faster. And as always, I'm whisking by hand. Yeah, I feel like handmade cream is your favorite. Alcohol and hand whipped cream. 
Normally I like soft peak, but today I'm going for stiff peak. Okay, looking good. We got nice stiff peak and it's time to move on. And it's egg time. We are preheating oven 375. Bake this for seven to eight minutes until golden brown. And it's nice and toasty. And for this, we wanted to use them all so we don't have time to just cook, you know, two at a time. Using half cup of sugar, half cup of water. Bring this to a boil just to melt the sugar. Two tablespoons of brandy. And that was our second of two alcohols. So check, check. The sugar is completely melted. So I just wanted to brush some syrup because I find ego is a little bit dry. So I want to make it less dry and add some good adult flavor. All the ego are brushed with syrup. We are going to save this for later. One cup of sugar, half cup of water. Heat this up until 240 Fahrenheit. While I'm waiting, I'm going to whip egg whites to a soft peak. Adding half teaspoon of cream of tartar. And I'm using room temperature egg whites because it whips faster. Temperature is 240, adding into the egg whites. So you want to pour hot sugar syrup into egg whites in a steady stream so the sugar evenly distributes to the egg whites. Another visual cue, if it's ready, egg whites become very glossy. It's nice, stiff peak, consistency of toothpaste. Okay, we made a beautiful Italian meringue and we are getting cross. We made a lot of components today, so let's recap. Whipped cream, Italian meringue, pudding, bourbon caramel, baked brandy syrup soaked eggs. And I have my secret weapon torch, but we're gonna use it later. And we're gonna start with bananas. I want to make this egg perfectly fit on my vessel, so I'm going to trim a little bit. And if you don't have smaller vessel like this, you can use any kind of container. I chose this because I want to show beautiful layers. And I'm going to use two eggos per container. First layer is pudding, and layer two is eggo. Layer three is bananas. You want to make an even layer, so you don't want to too overwrap it. And caramel, then whipped cream. I want to make sure they have a nice, beautiful layer. And another eggo and more pudding. Next, we got bananas. Have you seen how monkey peel banana? No. Can you show? Yeah. I peel banana from here, but monkey peel banana from here, and it's easier. Shout out to monkey. And more caramel and Italian meringue. All right, and we're gonna torch it. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And we are done. Katie, welcome back to Make It Fancy. Thank you for having me again. I love your t-shirt. Oh, Where did you get it? Cool. Oh, I just got it at shopmakeitfancy.com. Makeitfancy.com? Yeah. Shop it's it's shop. <laughs> you don't know your own website, Rian? It's shop. <laughs> it's okay. What do you see? What do you think? I'm seeing like a trifle. And it look, like it's giving me some baked Alaska vibes. Did you put this on fire? Yes. Yes, you did. Oh. Yeah. I wish I had seen it. Fire is my friend. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> Can you guess what I made mm. fancy? Yeah. I really can't. It's giving, I don't know. It's hiding. It's hiding. Yeah. Mmm, really good. Yes. Is there any booze in this? Always. <laughs> Double <laughs> alcohol. Double alcohol? <laughs> Have you ever done triple alcohol? Not yet. Was well, it like a pancake? Close. It's a, well, okay. What, Walmart? I'm thinking it's an ego. Because <gasps> it's like, it's like, yes? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> You're just a you're just a genius, and like it, it is so fancy. Like you could really you serve this to a queen, oh, king. Yeah. I think Kate Middleton would eat that. Just a bit of it though. What about Elizabeth? She's the queen. She's the queen. I th yeah. I would love to go her palace. Go to <laughs> oh my god, make it fancy in Buckingham Palace. <laughs> yes. This is a very fancy 
trifle, 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 trifle. A British accent is make it fancy. Make it fancy. That's Australian? Not true. <laughs> make it fancy. Make it fancy. Make it fancy. Make, make it, it fancy. fancy. I forgot. <laughs>